There we go. Let's get in there a little bit tighter. Happy New Year to you all. Um, apologies for being kind of missing an action for the last six months, more than six months. Uh, the last video was about, apart from the live streams, was, was about uh, the longest day. We are three weeks past, no, two weeks past, two and a bit weeks past uh, the shortest day. So that's how long I've been away from this recording stuff for the channel. So I thought we would just have a little chat and um, see where we're all at. Plenty of plenty of stuff's been going on since since June uh, in the last vlog, but if you've been watching the live streams, you'll have been kept up to date with what's going on. Lots of stuff going on. Far too busy, far too much emotional distress in my life recently. Uh, so we might approach that subject coming up. But uh, I thought today we would uh, just have a a little chat of what's been going on and also go through a few of my favourite images from last year because I did do a blog post, my first blog post in about three years or two years anyway. Uh, I thought I would better get, yeah, because I deleted everything from the start of my blog right the way through to 2019, which was the last one. And it's now 2022, so there you go, that's how long it is since I last did a blog. Uh, so I took them all down, put up a new one of my review of 2021 with my favourite 20, I think it was 20 images. Uh, so we're just going to have a look at a couple of images from that. Um, okay, just to tell you why I, I kind of like them. And, and yeah, I could just kind of get caught up what the plans might be. This time of year, there's always lots of planning going on, but whether it actually comes to fruition and we actually do it, that's another matter. Just like losing weight and all that. Good intentions at the start of January. After that, it can all go out the window very, very quickly. Also, I'm not being a pretentious prick, by the way, with the with the scarf. It is just bloody perishing in here. Hence the cup of tea as well to keep the hands warm. It is cold. Cold in my office today. And also very, very messy. But if you're here for any, you know, for live streams and stuff, you know I'm a, I'm a messy kind of person anyway. There's no, there's no cleanliness and tidiness around here. It's a, it's a, it's a working office, so there's crap everywhere. Right. So 2021, uh, as I said in my blog, if you've already been and read that, if you haven't read it, the link is in this description below. As I said in that, I can barely remember a thing that I did early in 2021. Uh, that that time just seems to have just disappeared, especially the early early part. Um, I do remember around about March when lockdown was ending and then you know people were going to be allowed to travel again and and the not quite panic but the realization that you know the local area would be rammed with tourists again for the second year running um, uh, and it also you know meant that throughout the summer that we had that I didn't really go anywhere because I couldn't be bothered with the amount of people around. I mean, I'm not a big people part person anyway, but it was just just so busy. You know, there was no guarantee you could park where you wanted to park. Um, I like to, if I'm going photographing, I like to turn up at the right time, not an hour before to try to find a parking space and all this kind of crap. I like to rock up when I want to rock up, do the stuff, back in the car in 10 minutes and away home again. Um, so, you know, like you didn't really have that freedom to do that kind of thing with, with, with the amount of people going around, you know, even at stupid o'clock in the morning, it was still still a lot of people going around, uh, quite busy. Uh, everywhere is just rammed. It's not pleasant. So please, next year, 2022, go abroad again, please. Don't come, come to Northumberland. It was, it was far too busy last year. Go abroad. You know, the rest of the world's going to be open again soon. Just planes on it, over the water. Atlantic, Mediterranean, get away, go somewhere else. Um, yeah, so I mean, that really cut back on how much photography I did during the summer. I didn't do a lot at all. So I did I did a chunk, you know, March and April time, because in, in March I got, I upgraded the camera to the D850, uh, which was, which has made the, the year entertaining because it's completely, you know, there's a lot of characteristics that I've had to work around and uh, get used to 
Uh, but that, you know, I'm getting there now. Obviously, it should be nine months later. Um, doing, you know, it, it's working well. Getting some great results now. Uh, but in the early days, it was pretty tricky. A lot to get used to. Um, so, like, you know, so, summer was written off. I was busy with a load of other stuff as well. Yes, yeah, so I had a load of stuff going on outside of the internet, outside of YouTube, away from photography. Um, I'm too bloody involved in the local community and I ended up on the parish council or chairman of the parish council which took up far too much time uh, uh, and too much stress and anxiety and all that built up to a, a rather large head and um, I wasn't I wasn't a well bunny for a, for a while uh, and since then I've actually quit all that. I'm still involved with those community groups but the parish council can kiss my ass. Um, that is all done and dusted. I have, I have removed myself from there, and we're not going back. Uh, too much, too much crap to deal with there. Uh, so that, that took up ooh, far too much time, which really affected, you know, photography, business, uh, family life, home life. Uh, it did really just take over, uh, and also at the same time, the whole NFT craze was happening, which I don't think I've actually mentioned to you on. On any videos because I think yeah I think yeah the last video was June and I think I was started in playing around with NFTs in like late July mid July something like that um, so that was that was that was that was a busy time trying desperately to make some sales um, I was I was I was going to say unsuccessfully but when you compare yourself to other people in the space um, unsuccessfully. Because a lot, you know, a lot of people made a lot, a, a, a ton, some unimaginable amounts of money out of it, uh, and you know, we 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 only do well. You know, a lot of us do photography as a hobby, which is great. Um, some of us do it as a living, and you know, we are in the we are. I'm here uh, in photography in the, for the business for the purpose of making money. Uh, I'm not here for. I mean, it, it is it. It is a hobby as well, and it is something I really enjoy doing, but it is very much a, a money-making operation. And therefore, the NFT thing is not about making new bloody friends and all this kind of stuff, which the, a lot of people try to push on you. It is about make, producing a product and selling it. That is my mindset. It's probably the wrong mindset. Um, if you talk to people that are semi-successful in the space, then they are all about community. You know? That's great. If you want to do that, I am producing a product which I am selling. I'm not selling it as an investment for people to li liquefy or whatever the terminology is. I'm selling it as a product that you might buy because you like it. Like postcards uh, or a small print for your wall to give to your grandma or so whatever. You know, that's the kind of, that's how I'm treating NFTs, is just another product to go alongside all the others like presets, tuition, prints, um, you know, postcards, note cards, all that kind of stuff, commissions, licensing, you know, all these things got, you know, put together to produce, you know, to, to you know, each one's a product, which you've got to market um, probably separately in slightly different ways. NFTs, you've got to do a bit more uh, softening up uh, of people to, to get through, you know, to, to be able to, you know, be noticed in the, in the space uh, to potentially have, have your stuff seen. Um, so that took up a lot of time at the same time as the whole other crap that was going on, um, uh, which didn't help the old mind either. Um, you could probably tell that it's still not exactly brilliant by the way I'm rambling on and the brain is scrambled and... The brain and the mouth don't really talk to talk to either each other much, um, but then again, I've been a bit like that for a long, long, long time. So that's been most of twenty twenty one. Um, I mean, going through twenty twenty one, I left Northum the county of Northumberland, the, the county that I live in. I left it once. I know we were on lockdown for a bit, um, but I've you know I, I haven't done any barely any trips out. Um, a few sunrises and stuff like that with Alan Knightley. Very much appreciate of Alan for inviting me out on these. I, I had one the one trip out of the county that I did with, with Andrew Atkinson. We went up to, well, you know, North Berwick, up near Edinburgh. That way, a bit of a, a, a drive down the uh, 
the uh, Scottish Borders coastline. Lovely day out uh, and got some decent shots and I got my favourite shot from that trip. And everything else has been very much a case. It's been very, very local again, which, I mean, I do do a lot of local photography 99% of the time on a normal year anyway. But this year just really, I think, I think after a while, cabin fever and everything was really setting in. And I was, you know, there's another reason why mentally I was struggling, struggling as well, because, you know, after doing this stuff for eight years, then even with the variances of my style, it is still a bit dull when you go into the same place, you know. And I'm sure people that watch me on my live streams have probably got quite bored of me um, processing images of Barbara Castle. Because I'm sure we must have worked on it about 15 to 20 weeks <laughs> of, of air, you know, air shot from there in, in, in all their episodes. Uh, but anyway, you know, so that's, that's been a bit of a, a struggle to deal with. But. So... That is, uh, that's how last, you know, stuff that got in the way last year. Um, the other, I mean, the other thing is, mother's getting older, needs more uh, care taken over, needs run around a lot more, so time, you know, you know, spending, having to spend time with her to keep her right and proper um, has, has taken up a bigger, you know, a bigger chunk of time than previous years. So hopefully in 2022, I mean, obviously, you know, the, the responsibilities are still going to be there, but hopefully we're, we're just going to be a bit more proactive, do a few more trips away. Maybe a, I'm saying trips away, probably not going too far, but, you know, maybe it's more than 20 miles from home. Where are you off? So 2022 uh, plans is to do a bit more, a bit more photography. Um, last year I only took eight, something like eight and a half thousand images, which... I can probably do that in a weekend, uh, or half of that in a weekend if I was away. So a very lean year, uh, and for photograph, you know, photographically it hasn't been the best, uh, or the most productive, or the most creative out of out of the years I've done this. So it's been a bit of a, uh, you know, really having to, you know, like really having to change the mindset to be a lot more proactive and look to get out more into the into the further reaches of the county at least, or maybe sort of the lakes a bit more, up into the borders more, do a bit more exploring. Uh, and, and just work, you know, work on that and just gradually spread spread the wings a little bit more. Channel-wise, I'm hoping to get a few more vlogs out this year. Last year I think I I think I ended up doing about five or six the entire time, which wasn't wasn't very good at all. Uh, but the live streams are still continuing. We recently passed 150 episodes of them. So thank you to everybody that comes along for those every week, or on most weeks that we uh, run them. The podcast will be returning. I've just switched providers to Ang Anchor. I think it is. Anchor. From Podbean to Anchor. Because Podge Podbean was charging me. And I hadn't I'd only up up uploaded four episodes since the start. $10 a month. Um... Anchor is free, so I've switched to that one. I am hopefully going to continue to work on a book this year. Um, I do have an idea. I have a name for it. I have the content for it. Um, whether the content is good enough, we might have to wait a little bit longer. Um, but hopefully going to pull, pull something together uh, as the year goes on and hopefully make it available. Maybe it's middle of the year. I don't know. I'll have to work on that. And just getting things sorted because I mean last year I didn't even produce a calendar because uh, just I had it in my mind in June to like right need to get a pack calendar sorted and then it just you know life took over busy etc and that was that so that's that's where we stand at the minute on on that so let's have a look at a couple of images from last year which I really really like. Right, so this this Im this image of the the harbour at North Berwick, definitely um, my favourite from the year. It is just the way it came together with that lovely golden light, utilising the little streak of light, like utilising as as almost like a rising or setting sun, 
um, on the far far right of the image, and you've got to look at that contrast with the the, the harbour buildings. Just, I mean, to me, you know, hark back to Turner's fighting Temeraire. If you look in the distant right on that on that uh, painting, there's like the setting sun uh, and the like the the buildings on the riverside, uh, and it kind of you know kind of reminded me of that. That kind of scenes. So I, I, you know, really pleased how that came about. Took a lot of work. I actually made this on a live stream, so the uh, the link will be on screen or and and down in below in the in the, in the description. If you want to check out that that full episode of that to see how it was made, but it, it came out really well. Definitely my favourite of the of the year. Um, and also, like somebody bought a print of it. I think the day I posted it. So you know. I wasn't the only one that loved it. And this is an image of uh, Walkworth Castle. And I made it into a night scene, a bit of processing trickery, uh, invert inverting lights and darks and colours to make it a certain way, on top of all the, you know, the, the, the usual blending that I do. Uh, so, you know, really wor worked hard on the image. Uh, and it came out split, well, I think it, ca it came out splendidly. Um, and it just, when the colours came out, as, as I was processing it, it definitely became a night scene. And I even put in a moon to make it look like night time. And again, it's almost, for all it being a, you know, a ruined castle, it was inspired by a, by Turner, like an early Turner uh, oil. I can't remember the name of the image. Um, but it's like a nighttime scene of fishermen. And there's the moon in the distance, and it's all, you know, kind of green, greeny, nighttime light that he's painted, and it's it's inspired by that. Uh, that's for certain. Uh, I did have that, that 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 painting in my mind when I was when this when this image was coming together. Uh, so, like I say, that was done in a live stream, so you can find that episode as well in the description below. Uh, but really pleased how that one came out. So we've got this one, and this one was actually made on the same day, a very productive day for me back in April, when I had an hour or so wandering around uh, Walkworth Castle, just around the outside, down by the river, and um, around the walls, uh, and through the village a little bit as well. A beautiful spot to, to, to photograph. Uh, and th this image I took from down by the river, and there's a riverside walk, looking up towards the keep. And this this one, it, it, it's a tricky place to photograph because we've got you know, there's all the kind of the undergrowth on the on the bank on the riverbank side, which gets in the way. There's trees that are overgrown, so you don't get a great view of the castle. Uh, and and that bank side is actually you know disappears way you know very high to the to the right side of the image, but processing wise. Being able to alter, you know, swap out lights and darks, uh, and how things blend together, meant I could take a lot of that high bank side and and some of those high trees out, uh, to to give us a bit more of a an open open landscape view of of the castle and the you know the river in the foreground. And it 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 took a lot of work to get to this, but I was really pleased with how it how it ended up. So yeah, that's three. That's three highlights from the year. Um, for the amount of times I went out shooting and got, you know, minimal returns from it, I'm quite pleased with the handful of images that I've ended up with and end up I still like. So yeah, enjoyed this little chat and showing you a few of the a uh, few of the images from the year. Remember, check out the blog post for many more images and. A bit more considered writing on what's what's gone on through the year. So, anyways, before I go on even longer than what I have already done, um, just want to wish you all again a very happy new year. All the best for 2022. Let's go out there and crush it or kill it or whatever the trendy terminology is now for having a lovely time. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching t uh, this video today. Um, remember. You can catch us most weeks on Tuesday night edits. Tuesdays, 7.30 UK time for a live stream. 
you find all my socials and everything on, on my link tree link, which is below. And yeah, I think that'll do. So thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, whenever that'll be, six months since the last one, so God knows. Uh, until then, keep it hard. See you.